The Northampton and Lamport Railway currently has a running line for a couple of miles just north of Northampton. I had the chance to visit today to explore and see what's here, but I'm too early in the year to be able to have a train ride. No matter, there's a lot to see and through a full trackside walk from here in Bowton at the south end all the way to the north end of the line we can see the main features of this railway. Hi, I'm Warren Brandon, welcome to another Linley's video. Back in the days when the line was running as part of the national network, there was a level crossing right here. The Heritage Railway now has a station here, but back when the line was younger, there was just the crossing, a signal box and the crossing cottage. In the photo here, the Loco D7553 built in 1965 is hauling a goods train southbound across the crossing later that year. This view was photographed in 1970. And this postcard photo is dated 1910 and looks south with the gatekeeper's cottage on the left. This old map shows just how rural the area was at one time, with the current map now showing the new housing on the east side of the line. Now though, the area is being developed. The diggers are out to grade the land, ready for more new houses to the southwest of the old crossing location. The line used to continue about a mile further south and join in to another track. After a quick pint in the Windover pub, the walk up the line begins using cycle route number six alongside the track. Just north of the new station, this old box wagon, chocked up without wheels, needs rather more work doing to it than just a bit of TLC. I guess the metalwork is still okay though. feature is this intriguing low viaduct. I can't see why this elaborate structure was built. Why didn't the railway engineers just mound up a moderately high embankment and use a single bridge over the river? 
This photo from the railway's website shows the reinstatement works undertaken during 2021 so that the line could extend to the new station. Next is this set of sidings. This info board explains that the line was specifically routed past an ironstone quarry just east of the line here. The quarry has been long filled in, but the Northampton and Lamport Railway plans to develop the sidings here to enable ironstone hopper wagons, typically used here during the mining years, to operate demonstration trains. It would be great if you could hit that like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Next up is the Pittsford and Brampton station. This has always been a station and serves the nearby villages. The existing platform is adequate for a simple service timetable, but there is no loco runaround loop which would also act as a passing bay. Through running is possible only. The tracks are being used to berth some of the railway's rolling stock. These were a rather mixed lot, but mostly Mark II carriages undergoing some restoration. I'll pop by here a bit later on my way back and explore the front of the station and the pub restaurant. The railway's locos are kept here in the sidings, including some diesel units and some small tank engines. This blue Class 31 diesel electric loco dates back to 1961, but ran until sold for preservation in 1992. It is currently painted in the experimental BR blue livery, a different all over pale blue style. The class 47 loco here has an odd icon sign on the sign, like a warning of some sort. A storage carriage further up, painted in light grey, has a similar sign. If anyone recognises the sign, please let me know in the comments. These carriages have fairly recently arrived at the railway from mainline use. They are Mark III carriages and I assume will form a usable set to create a train similar to that of mainline 80s and 90s BR services, but run, I assume, rather slower. The driving cab unit here is not powered, it just enables a push-pull service to operate and avoid the need for the engine to run around at the end of the line. This stop board prevents trains going further over the low viaduct here. Ahead, some wooden sections have been unloaded. They look like replacement longitudinal sleepers ready to go along the steel decking under the track. Just a little way even further is a similar low viaduct which does not yet have any tracks running over it. Quite a lot of remedial work is needed by the looks of it.
I don't understand why it's so long, but I assume the land below is a floodplain of some sort, so the bridge works need to allow a river to flow when it floods. The old track bed continues north a lot further and the railway's name refers to Lamport, which is about 5 miles up the line and then there's Market Harbour, about 12 miles distant. I believe there are active plans to extend the tracks further north but I'm sure that it's money dependent. It would be great to see the old trains travelling further, back up to Lamport at least. I wonder whether they will sometime. at Pittsford and Brampton station it's clear that a lot of development work is currently being undertaken here too. Although the line is not operating today, the bar restaurant nearby named Brampton Holt is very much open. As the light fades, I've promised myself a return trip when the line is open so that I can enjoy a ride on some trains up and down the line. Thanks for watching and bye for now.